between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters 29 years of age. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Island! Presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 26 wins, no losses. He stands by feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Ebola. for the championship. If you give me your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Good. I'm very excited. Good. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Oh, one, two. Here. 
He's got half guard. So he just decides to get up here, Joe. That one hurt. Whoa! The champ is in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this? He's got to hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight. Right here. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh! Look at this! Take down! Now he's got the mounted crucifix. Excellent movement here on the ground. That north south choke's a very technical choke, and a lot of guys do it wrong from the north-south position to get the choke. What he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out. Wow. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Yeah, and here he goes again. Well, Greg Lewis hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. And they clinch here. Oh! He looks to improve position here. And there comes the separation now. How about that chin? Oh! This could be it. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Another excellent takedown from Nurmagomedov. up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Wow. Wow. wow! He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back to the feet. Nice strike landed there by McGregor. Good one, two. Nice jab. Good defense there. Another takedown attempt here. He's got him down again. Perfectly timed sweep. Use of the jab by Nermago Meta. Misses a huge oh! hook to the head. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, oh he tagged him. Oh! oh! What a fight! Wow! Wow! Beautiful KO just as the round was ending. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Great angle here. Bam! 
lights out. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight.